It's Thursday, the second Thursday uh, of the Advent season, and we are reading the meditations of Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Today he writes this. He says, in the midst of the deepest guilt and distress of people, a voice speaks that is soft and mysterious and full of the blessed certainty of salvation through the birth of a divine child. It is 700 years until the time of its fulfillment, but the prophet is so deeply immersed in God's thought and counsel that he speaks of the future as if he saw it already, and he speaks of the salvific hour as if he already stood in adoration before the manger of Jesus. For a child has been born to us, Isaiah writes. What will happen one day is already real and certain in God's eyes, and it will not only be for the salvation of future generations, but already for the prophet who sees it coming, and for his generation, indeed for all generations on earth. For a child has been born for us. No human spirit can talk like this on its own. How are we supposed to know what will happen in the next year to understand how someone can look forward so many centuries? And the times where they were no more transparent than they are today, only the Spirit of God who encompasses the beginning and the end of the world can in such a way reveal a chosen person of the mystery of the future so that he might prophesy for the strengthening of believers and the warning of unbelievers. This individual voice ultimately enters into the nocturnal adoration of the shepherds in Luke and into the full jubilation of the Christ-believing community. For a child has been born to us, a son has been given. This is what Isaiah writes. For a child has been born for us, a son has been given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom he will establish and uphold it, with justice and righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of the hosts will do this. This is Isaiah chapter 9, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is an amazing story. It's what really grabs me about Christmas, that to unto us a child has been born, that God has entered into our world in order to meet us, to have a personal relationship with us, to bring healing to our hearts and lives. So today, my question is this, where is it that you need healing? Where is it that you need to let the Christ of Christmas into your heart? God bless you, everyone.